Basic Research Laboratories is conducting research on a new device that actively utilizes the principles of quantum mechanics. The Superconducting Qubit. Quantum mechanics is the physical laws that govern the microscopic world of atoms and electrons. Using superconductivity, this device aims to apply quantum mechanics directly, even in micron-sized electrical circuits. Inside the device is a square circuit comprising an aluminum loop. The three indentations are called Josephson junctions. The junctions are comprised of a thin insulator sandwiched by superconductors. When this device is cooled to near absolute zero, an electric current flows in the loop even if no voltage is applied. This phenomenon is known as superconductivity. The current has two states, clockwise and counterclockwise. Normally, it would be impossible for clockwise and counterclockwise currents to exist at the same time. In the world of quantum mechanics, however, such a situation is possible. This is referred to as a superposition state. The magnetic flux that penetrates a superconductive loop is quantized to an integer multiple of the flux quantum. What would happen if we applied a magnetic flux from the outside that is equivalent to half of the flux quantum? We obtain a counterclockwise state L that intensifies the flux and a clockwise state R that cancels out the flux. The ground state zero, which is energetically the most stable state, is a superposition state of L plus R. Similarly, the first excited state one is a superposition state of L minus R. Normally, the loop is in a ground state. When it is subjected to microwaves resonating with excitation energy, it shifts into the first excited state. Here, we reduce the duration of the microwaves to half. By doing so, we can create a superposition state of the ground state and the first excited state. In other words, by changing the strength and duration of the microwaves, we can switch states or create a superposition state. Our research has now made it possible to control the qubit using this method. The bits used in today's computers can only represent zero or one. But by using the superposition state, qubit can represent zero and one at the same time. By controlling interaction between qubits to realize quantum logic circuits, we believe that it will be possible to create quantum computers that are capable of executing computation utilizing quantum parallelism. At present, we are still conducting experiments in controlling the interactions between two qubits. Our efforts have made possible the first step toward realizing quantum computers.